I don't think he's undefeated. From his story, he has some scratches on him. He knows what he's doing, what he's getting into. He knows what he feared to, to fall. Francis, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Um, You're welcome. This is a massive moment for you. Um, you've gone from fleeing Cameroon to um, being homeless in Paris to then fighting in the UFC, and now you're going to be picking up your biggest payday ever um, with Tyson Fury. How much does that mean to you, and how much does that money help you and your family? Um, how much does that mean to me? Um, it means a lot, you know, um, I mean, excuse me, I'm trying to process again, you know, uh, to see what's what's the difference from where I came from to where I am today, uh, where we are today, me, my family, where we are today, you know, it means a lot to me. Like sometimes, my biggest joy sometimes is just to look at us, I'm like, Man, we are secure. We don't have to worry about all those stuff anymore. We don't have to worry about what to eat. We don't have to worry about clothes on our feet, uh, clothes on our back, or shoes on our feet. We don't have to worry about if ever somebody gets sick. Obviously, uh, they don't treat death, but at least they treat illness, right? So we have we we been we have those security now. Uh, which is something that I have been worried about. We have been worried about our entire life. My dad passed away uh, at home. Uh, he was sick for months and uh, couldn't even go to the hospital because we couldn't afford it. And as a young kid, I was we was just around looking at it and be powerless, you know. And then for so many years, you think about like, okay, whatever, if something like that happened again, whether it's to your mom or or one of your sibling and you will still be powerless like when can we can you be uh, powerful enough to uh, to change things to to do something uh, when needed you know and then over the years you get to the point that you're like uh i think i get this you know that means a lot that's a huge satisfaction you know um you see people living from different neighborhood. You see school, kids go uh, to different school, afford the scholarship um, and all those stuff. Even though you didn't have it, even though you can live, uh, you didn't grow up in those neighborhood, you, you can afford it today. Mm -hmm. You know, you can afford to send some kid, whether it's your nephew or your niece in those, those school today. Mm -hmm. you, you feel like you belong, you feel like you have your place in the society. That's what it means. It means a lot. And in terms of the fight itself, you're obviously taking it very seriously. You've teamed up with Mike Tyson. Um, what is it like having him as a coach? And what would you say the best kind of words of wisdom and um, support he's been able to give you? Um, I think the um, support from Mike Tyson, uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, Having Mike Tyson prison just make you realize like what's happening, right? Because sometimes you 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 know that you have a fight. Obviously, you're serious about it, but seems like there's something missing. Like okay, I have a fight. Then you have Mike Tyson, which is like basically like the boxing figure, right? And then you're like, man, this is serious. This is very very serious. It can be more serious than this, right? So that alone brings a lot, uh, gets you a lot, of, uh, brings you a lot of motivation. And uh, even when you're tired, even when you're done for the day, I'm like, man, one more. I want to just be that mic, right? So all those stuff help mentally already. Mm -hmm. and not, to, not to, not to uh, point out the uh, technical aspect that he's bringing. You know, we all know how technical was Mike Tyson. So... Obviously, having uh, a, a tips, uh, having a help from him is very helpful for me. You know, I won't be able, I won't have his boxing style, but I can, I definitely learn something from him. And you said before that um, those with a perfect record are not complete fighters. Absolutely. Tyson has a complete uh, record. 
a perfect record even. Do you think that you have the competitive edge over him because you unlocked a new form of training having had a lot? Um, it's, it's a little tricky because I don't think he's undefeated, right? Maybe in the combat sport he's undefeated, but uh, from his story, he has some scratches on him, right? So he knows what he's doing, what he's getting to. to. He knows what he fears to, to fall, right? I mean, I'm not just talking inside the ring. I'm talking in life overall. He knows that, so and I think those are usually stuff that people most of the time would consider as a defeat, defeat, which for me is just like a learning process. So I think he has that, he has completed his learning. <laughs> and you've been credited with having the hardest punch in the world. Deontay Wilder managed to knock Tyson Fury down. Do you think you can follow through and finish him off? I believe that, yes, I can knock him out. Right. Yeah. And finally, in terms of your training camp at the moment, what are the conditions like out in Las Vegas? The what's what? What's the conditions like in Las Vegas, the weather and training like? I mean, uh, the good thing with Las Vegas, even when it's uh, hot, uh, we have AC everywhere, every uh, building, every house is mandatory uh, to have AC, so that doesn't affect um, the in interior anymore. And as a professional fighter, you have to figure out your way. You know, um, basically, when you're not forced to be in Las Vegas, um, I could have been training anywhere else, even though I prefer Vegas, basically, from, the, um, from my operation that I have on ground right now. But everything been uh, pretty good uh, for me. The training, the um, even the weather, we train at the gym, and sometimes we don't put the AC or the swamp color at all because we're gonna go to that heat. You know, uh, they always say the more you suffer there, the less you bleed in battle. Mm -hmm. So yes, we train, and every time after training, I have to dry my shoes. I, I have to press my clothes couple of time before the end of practice and lose like a uh, litter and litter of water. Just finally, last question. Um, John Jones, will that fight happen? I don't know. I would have no hand on it. And to be honest, I have biggest fight. I'm sure I don't have to worry about if yes or not that will happen. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, well, I have Tyson, man. I mean, I'm not sure if you realize what's happening, right? So um, I had liked to have that fight, but at this point, I think I'm just happy to be here, enjoy this fight, which is definitely bigger because even after John Jones, he would have still beat Tyson in the head of the, uh, in the pickup of the mountain that I would have wanted to take him out. <laughs>